Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So here we are covering microservices. In the last couple of videos we did CI CD with the AWS, AWS EC2, like uh, deploying the Node.js microservice to the AWS. Now we are going to deep dive into a totally different world, which is AWS serverless and AWS server based world. So this is what we are uh, thinking. So we already have a Node.js microservice here, which we already built. And obviously the Node.js microservice has a dependencies and this is the whole package we need to bundle when we are deploying this to the Lambda. Now, we need to understand few things before we even start further. So let's say this is the boundary we are putting. So here we are covering the, your code and CI CD. This is all about what do you call is your code and CI CD because it doesn't involve your infrastructure and we are going to use AWS CDK or serverless or the cloud formation to pin up our infrastructure. Okay. Now, if you talk about serverless, so these are like a uh, three different platform you can say to spin up your infrastructure using code or configuration. It's called as infrastructure as a code because you are not going to AWS console and saying, okay, uh, create a EC2 instance or something like that. What you are going to do is you are going to build that infrastructure using your code your, and your configuration. So this is my AWS account and we are going to ping pong on lots of different things. We will talk about Lambda, Elastic Beanstalk. I mean, there are different platform on which you can deploy your Node.js service because it's all about microservice and this is, this comes AWS. Okay, on AWS, what all we are talking? First, uh, we'll talk about serverless. Obviously not because I already have covered a serverless here. So let's say you wanted to explore serverless and how it really works with AWS and how the serverless framework is helping you to deploy your service as a Lambda function, then you can just take a look onto this. This covers everything about, okay, how to create a basic Node.js microservice and deploy that as a Lambda using serverless framework, which is nothing but this. So what you, you are doing, these are the three different options we are exploring serverless cloud formation and AWS CDK. This is serverless where you are writing a simple deployment configuration, something like this function, create user, your runtime node, just 14, 16, 18. This is the event you attach API gateway. And then when you do serverless deploy a single command, Obviously you need to configure your AWS credentials. And then when you do serverless deploy, what it will do, it will deploy your function, which you have written as a Lambda and will also attach an API gateway to that. And then obviously the plugins add-ons, you can actually track your service, all those things. So that's a serverless. You can explore the documentation. Serverless is, uh, it has a serverless YML where you are actually defining, okay, and it's a vendor independent. That means you can use serverless framework to deploy your Lambda on AWS, on Azure, on GCP and all the other platform. What you are specifying is you are just specifying in serverless YML. Okay. What is your provider? I think we are specifying provider somewhere like provider name AWS region profile. Similarly, there should be something for GCP or Azure. So in your code, Let's say I wrote a Node.js microservice. What else I will I will be needing? You need a serverless YML, serverless setup. That's it. In serverless YML, you will specify okay which one is your Lambda function file, uh, what all things you wanted to create, and the serverless dot YML will create an infrastructure for you, because that is what we are doing here. Let's say I am deploying my service as a Lambda. So what all things I need? Uh, I need a Lambda function. They've created and deployed on AWS. I need an API gateway if I want to build a REST API. And if I need a database, then DynamoDB or RDS. Because what we are doing is we are using this uh, code as an infrastructure. And we are deploying our microservice as a function, function as a service, pass. Okay. So to build this whole thing, we want a Lambda, we want API gateway and some database. Either you can use this serverless framework to spin up everything for you. And what you need is you just need a AWS credentials setup and you do serverless deploy. 
it will look into your serverless.yml it will deploy things for you okay so there is already i have created a good resource on this how to work with the serverless framework when you want to deploy your node.js service okay now here comes aws cdk how it is different from serverless in aws cdk from cdk cloud development kit that means aws is providing the utility classes and typescript code so because aws cdk in this thing you can write your code in python node.js and you can write the whole infrastructure using your native programming language okay there is this is cdk so what actually we are doing when when it comes to cdk we are actually writing a javascript code typescript code python code or java code and how with the how the code looks like i can just talk a simple example let's say typescript workshop and this is my project structure and this is simple code you are writing so what this code looks like this code for me is a typescript code and what i'm doing is with the help of this typescript code i'm, I'm able to create sqs can be lambda can be sns topic can be api gateway can be dynamo db these resources you can create by writing just a simple plain typescript code which you also understand okay i'm using this uh, uh, abstraction provided by aws cdk where i can use sqs sns lambda i can create anything the only important thing is i'm not dealing with the yml configurations and some complex structures i'm dealing with just a typescript code which will be sitting with your uh, microservice code in just another folder okay so that is what we are talking here okay now aws cdk that is aws cdk is nothing but a, a way in which you can build the aws components you can create the aws component on the cloud either we, what i will do is let's say i don't know aws cdk or serverless and all then i what i will do is i will go to lambda and i will say create my lambda first okay create function i will just say okay my first lambda or just let's say auth api service node just 20 execution role all these things we will specify and then you just do a create function that is manual thing what if my lambda function need an interaction with the dynamo okay then i will go to dynamo db and then i will create a dynamo table there if you need an api gateway then you will go to here you can create a table okay you specify the table name partition key index key and all if you need an api gateway because lambda can be invoked either through api gateway or through some external events like okay you are uploading a file on s3 and you wanted to invoke a lambda so there is a lambda trigger that can be invoked through sqs sns api gateway or through different mediums or as dynamo stream and all here we are we can create an api gateway because lambda can be invoked through the api gateway so here there are three different options okay i can build a rest api rest api private http api okay websocket so these are different interface i mean http api or rest api kind of a similar WebSocket is different. Like if you want a WebSocket to your service, then you can build it something like this. You can import a Swagger definition and it will just create a whole structure for you. Okay. So that's all about uh, all these things. But we are not going to touch the console. If you really want to understand all those things in deep, in depth, I will suggest you go through this serverless playlist. There I also have covered. Okay. What is Lambda? What is API gateway? What is serverless? All those things. But here we are just going to consume these components. So we are not only talking about serverless. Now here is the different platform where I'm targeting to deploy things. Okay, let's put up first serverless. Okay, I will just change the color. And this is first is serverless. Then second we can talk because we already discussed about the, the AWS virtual machines. EC2 instance, there we, are, we were deploying the application. Then we can talk about AWS ECS. Let me make it a little large. This is serverless. I mean, serverless means AWS component like, okay, I need a Lambda, API gateway, all those things. So we do have only our Node.js microservice. I wrote something in AWS CDK, 
that will help me to create that will help me to create serverless framework i mean server not serverless framework serverless stuff okay i can create a lambda i can create api gateway i can create a dynamo db table all those things i can create using aws cdk okay next thing is let's say i'm not using serverless stuff what i'm thinking is i just wanted to deploy things on container because till now we talked about three things deploying your microservice on virtual machine vm and these vms can be aws ec2 instance but now i mean we are we are talking about these things in 2024 so there are container based solution also available i mean you already know have played with docker locally so there are solutions like aws ecs or if you talk about containerized managed solution then we talk about kubernetes kts right for now we'll talk about aws ecs and uh, virtual machines we have already talked about and then third platform where we can deploy is the lambda aws lambda okay I mean, Lambda is not something which is available on AWS. There are these functions like Azure functions, uh, Google Cloud functions. This concept is available everywhere. Similarly, the container based solutions apart from Kubernetes, AWS, ECS, similarly, Google Cloud also has something containerized solution. Similarly, Azure might also have something. So what it is giving you, it is giving you the container based solutions where your application can stay inside container and can run. So there are some tiny, tiny containers where your applications can stay and can scale. And when it comes to having your microservice spinning across different pods, I mean, in Kubernetes language, the container is called pod. Then you will, there comes a Kubernetes because then you need to manage the, everything about the pod, who, which pod is dying and how load balancing between different pods, managing Managing the whole containerized solution. In that case, you need a Kubernetes or you can use the native solution ECS. ECS is also a container based solution. Here we in ECS, we are creating container on top of virtual machines like EC2 or Fargate. Or I don't want to deal with the Kubernetes or ECS. I just have a, my AWS microservice. I want to deploy that as a Lambda that is that is not running 24 7 i want to do some cost savings i don't have a many microservice i will just deploy my service as a lambda that will be bootstrapped when there is a request otherwise it will be like sleeping always and i will not be paying for that so it's like event driven lambda whenever there is an event coming from the client from the http apis then only i will make a request so these are the three different segments we are going to touch deploying your service deploying your function as a lambda deploying your function on the ecs deploying your function deploying your service on aws ec2 right these are the three different uh, options this we have explored using gitlab and github actions this we are talking about and this itself is not a small thing this is known as a serverless it's like a big chunk and that's known as a aws serverless <coughs> Because everything is serverless here. We are doing Lambda function, API gateway, Dynamo, and we are not using, I mean, the servers to deploy our application. We are using AWS serverless technology. Serverless is just a set of stuff like, okay, gateway, Dynamo DB, Lambda, Dynamo, or all these things combined considered inside a serverless, where you just deploy your application as a Lambda as a function. And then you hit those through the API gateway. So the architecture is something like this. This is your API gateway. Okay, API gateway can invoke Lambda. And your whole microservice will be residing in under one single Lambda. I mean, it was not possible earlier, four or five years. Earlier, we used to create a single HTTP method like this. Okay, I want to create a resource, something like, okay, users, API users get. I, I remember those things. I used to create a single Lambda for it. And name can be API.users.get. 
something like this and if i want to create a new resource then i i was creating another lambda for this api users dot post something like this right now i don't like this approach i will be deploying the whole microservice as a single lambda and then i will be just doing a proxy proxy to this lambda and this lambda already has a internal routing that will take care of all the endpoints internally and then this is your dynamo or rds or anything <coughs> where you want to get the data from in serverless world we use dynamo which is aws managed you don't need to do much you just create a table and then to the data it's already scaling enough so our target is this aws lambda and we are not going to if you want to create a lambda function you can go and manually create a lambda function and then you zip your code you zip your node js microservice inside a zip folder and upload it you just need to specify which one is your handler and which one is your root function which you want to want to invoke and all those things are happening through cdk we are not going to touch now the important part in this whole journey yes we, we will talk about ecs lambda and if you want to i will just give you the manual guideline okay if you want to deploy your application using elastic beanstalk that also we can do because that is also server based and it is these two solutions are server based so i will just change their color to let's say yellow and this is container based this is also server based this is also yellow this i will just make it as a dark green because this is lambda serverless okay <clears throat> so first of all in this whole journey we already know how we are building a microservice we have the code it can be simple express app having simple endpoint get put post delete on the user or some user cred operation then we are going to build an infra for that because it's a rest api we need api gateway gateway we need a lambda and if you want some kind of a cred operation then data for data storage we need a dynamo db so all those things we are going to spin up through the aws cdk and then whole, all these things will th uh, process through same pipeline here we are going to build a ci cd that will just execute command something like this npx deploy stack name and obviously we need our ci cd needs to have access to aws uh, credentials so that they can create resources on aws platform that those resources are lambda api gateway dynamo db and all then we will also talk about container based solution let's say i know how to deploy an ec2 i know how to deploy my app as a lambda how can i do on the container based solution because these are containers and when it comes to container the, the first thing which came into our mind is we need to create a image to deploy them as a on a container so we already have a node.js app what we will do is we will build an image for the docker image for the node.js and we will push that docker image on the ecr registry i mean that is aws managed ecr like docker hub registry right from there we can get the image so what we do is our ci cd will do nothing ci cd will have one task is to deploy your application and push the image to the ecr registry okay then the rest of the task is okay pull the latest version from the ecr because i have an access and we also need to provide an access to our ci cd stuff to push the your 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 build image of your node js app into ecr and from ecr we will pull the the latest image and we'll deploy it like creating a container out of image so your all node js app will be bundled as a docker image then we doc, you build and create a docker image and then while deploying it means only we need to create a container from the deployed build image if you know the docker then you might understand you what do you have you have just a image you do build and when you just run run the image you it creates a container the live container which can expose the http interface and it will expose a microservice for you okay 
So that is our plan. So first we will look into how AWS CDK work. If you are interested on serverless, there is a playlist already. Play with that. If you have any questions, I can take another session. AWS CDK is something which we are going to work on. If you are interested and you want to learn ahead, then you can just go into this AWS CDK workshop. You just need to install the CDK globally and then you can start using these commands. It will create a sample TypeScript project for you. And here you can just create a different stack. Here we are going to create a serverless stack that contains a Lambda, API Gateway and Dynamo if needed. We will deploy that stack. It will create a resources. Under the hood, AWS CDK uses cloud formation. That's the important point that we will talk also. It uses a cloud formation only. It creates a cloud formation template and configurations. But as a developer, if I'm writing a code, I don't need to worry about configurations and YML files. What I need to worry about is writing the TypeScript code because I'm already doing a TypeScript work here. Right? I'm already doing a TypeScript stuff here and I'm fine writing some more code for my infrastructure, which creates, okay, uh, this is a Lambda based microservice. I want uh, to create a Lambda, okay, Lambda function. I need an API gateway to hit that Lambda API gateway. That's it. Then if you want to use more AWS component, you can create S3, SNS, SQS, anything you can create through CDK. That's a TypeScript code you are writing, okay? So let's dive in and uh, let's understand more on AWS CDK, but this is the overall picture which we are targeting and we will go one by one. 